Eric Ten Hag star-studded Manchester United side fought back from behind to defeat RC Lenz in preseason action at Old Trafford. Manchester United came from behind to beat RC Lenz 3-1 in their penultimate preseason game at Old Trafford on Saturday. But Eric Ten Hag still faces some glaring issues he must fix with the new season just nine days away. Express Sport provides four things learned ahead of that Premier League curtain raiser against Wolves. Right back dilemma rumbles on. It remains unclear whether Ten Hag has a preferred right back. Aaron Juan Bissaka was a regular starter in the second half of last season, proving to be one of United's better players in that period. But Diogo Dalit put pen to paper on a new long-term contract earlier this year and started among several key names against Lenz. Dalit produced a moment to forget for Lenz opener, gifting a stray pass to goalscorer Florian Sotoka. Playing into concerns that Ten Hag may not be convinced by either of his options. Only time will tell, but the Portugal international failed to take his chance, with Juan Basakas expected to come in Dublin on Sunday. Mount has plenty to prove. Mason Mount hasn't had a bad first preseason as a United player, but he hasn't had a good one, either. One of the biggest headlines from his first month or so since joining in a £60 million move from Chelsea will be his first half-open goal miss. Underlining his early frustrations in front of goal. Of course, that's what preseason is for. However, Mount has plenty to prove after Ten Hag placed significant trust in making him his first buy of the window and the number seven on his back. Bruno Fernandes shown on Saturday, as he so often does. If Mount can discover a similar level this season and beyond as he enters his prime years, United will have a serious midfield on their hands. Rashford can continue to deliver centrally. With Rasmus Hoyland needing time to adjust to a new league. Once he regains fitness, it seems like Marcus Rashford will be United's first choice striker in the season's opening weeks, at least. Expectations are high after coming off a career-best 30-goal campaign and putting pen to paper on a long-term deal, making him one of the club's best-paid stars. And by drawing United level in the second half, Rashford showcased he hasn't lost his hunger for goals over the summer period. He can be the focal point of Ten Hag's front line, offering Alejandro Garnacho and Jadon Sancho more opportunities on the left. Hoyland realizes boyhood dream. Old Trafford produced a rapturous ovation as new £72 million signing Rasmus Hoyland realized his dream and took to the pitch before kickoff after completing a switch from Atalanta. Ten Hag has recruited in three priority areas over a week before his second campaign in England commences, with the 20-year-old striker following Mount and Andre Onana. But the Dutchman will be without Hoyland for the next few weeks as his new recruit recovers from an injury picked up in preseason, and he isn't expected to instantly settle. Rashford, Anthony, and Alejandro Garnacho, in particular, proved he has plenty of firepower to pick from in the meantime.